it as the Aboriginal Catholic Ministry. They start on a journey of land, fire and water that captures the journey of Aboriginal people entering the journey through the dynamic experience of past, present and future. A sense of the eternal now, which includes the story of the Aboriginal Catholic Ministry or a community who have struggled and survived to respond by responding to the Holy Father's challenge in 1986. And the church in herself in Australia will not be fully the church that Jesus wants her to be until you have made your contribution to her life and until that contribution has been joyfully received by others. The Aboriginal Catholic Ministry in Melbourne grew from a dream, a dream of belonging, of identity and ownership and of the unity of Aboriginal people. This place has grown from a place of meat and work to a spiritual place of belonging. We have our tabernacle, um, our sanctuary light in the shape of a, 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 a campfire, which is so important to Aboriginal life. It's where our stories are told, our myths. This is where we have warmth, where we have comfort at night. Um, our tabernacle, which is the only one like this in Australia. Beautiful. This is where Jesus lives in our home. We have our, our storyteller cross, which is as, represents the 12 apostles and our, our 12 um, ancestors. We have our two-way cross, which represents the gifts in Aboriginal culture and the gifts in, um, in the Christian community. So it marries the two together. Um, we just recently had uh, our painting of the resurrection. And so we had this blessed at our, at our first mass in 2018. And the artwork's been produced by my brother, John Dunn. John has also produced the um, Aboriginal Stations of the Cross for us. Jesus on the Manigam, which is um, sacred to the Wurundjeri people. And um, when you're welcomed onto Wurundjeri country, they will give you a gum leaf, which will represent your welcoming, your welcome onto their country, welcome to their resources from the tops of the trees to the roots of Mother Earth. We have the Aboriginal elder with the message stick. The message stick is very significant for Aboriginal people. Um, there is a message stick in almost every cathedral in Australia. Uh, there is also a message stick in the Vatican because they recognise the spiritual significance of it. Um, Victoria, we, we have turned the, the message stick into a liturgical item. So before the gospel is processed in, the message stick will lead it. While the gospel's being read, then the message stick will be held up with pride because this is our contribution to the Catholic Church just as Pope, Pope John Paul asked us to do. This is our contribution. Um, we have the eagle, which represents the creative spirit for Aboriginal people. He's flying above us all the time, taking care of us. We have the Aboriginal woman with the coolerman and, um, and the water going into the rainbow serpent, so it marries in the Aboriginal mythology. Um, and our dreaming into, into the Catholic story. Um, we have the lead bead opossum and, um, and the wattle bird, which are both Victorian emblems. So this is a very Victorian, um, Victorian window. Uh, and if you look closely in, in the glass, we have handprints, which represent our ancestors that are watching over us. They're with us all the time, making sure that we do the right thing. Um, and of course, our Jesus, who has the five wounds, and he is um, there for us. We have the man and the woman are both dressed in possum skin cloaks, which were very important for the southern part of Australia, as it's very cold here, and um, there aren't very many of those in, in existence today. 
because when a child was born, they would have their, fa their mother's genealogy and their father's, and as the child grew, that would be um, added to. So by the time you became an elder, like this man or this woman, you would have your whole family and your genealogy written inside your possum skin cloak. And traditionally, uh, when people died, they would be buried in their culture, so they would have their, their family wrapped around them forever throughout the dreaming. The beautiful stained glass windows were done by Toucan Glass, but the artwork was fashioned from Richard Campbell's artwork. And the incredible thing was, once we had them up, we were so proud of them. And then we looked at them and we said, we've missed one of the most important things. Where's the campfire? But as the spirit would work, we actually found a better place for the campfire. And the campfire is now our sanctuary light which I think is probably more appropriate than being in the glass because the campfire is central to Aboriginal life and the sanctuary light represents the gods in the house. So I think the two um, meld really well and, and complement each other. So we are very, very proud of our windows and everybody's welcome to come and visit them. Deep in the bush, the great spirit looked down at the people. The fire glows and dances on their faces. Elders and children gather closer to the fire. The sharing of stories, songs and laughter begins. The lingering on the leaves of the trees as we receive the blessing from the spirit of the fire.